At the start of the movie, it is narrated that on January 1, 1863, Abraham Lincoln emancipated all the Abyssinian slaves. At that time, there was a king who had 3,000 slaves. The army wanted to free those slaves and this story is also about this. So the story begins and we are told that there were many Abyssinian slaves in a village who worked for the British. They were cutting cotton there. After that, they take the slaves and move on. There was a man in the same village whose name was Peter, and this is the main character of our story. He was busy in his worship with his wife and children in his house as if he is praying and he also cleans his wife's feet. Then two men come there who were asking Peter to go with them but, but he clearly refuses to go and he beats them a lot but one of them threatens him. If you don't go with us, your wife will be killed. Peter gets scared to hear this and gets ready to go with them. He sits in the car of the slaves. Peter's family was very sad. Those people were taking him on the way to the jungle. It's been two weeks since they left and after two weeks, they reach a place, there were a lot of Abyssinian slaves. Railway lines were being built there. Peter was also looking at the things around him. There were some slaves who were dead and their corpses were lying there. Peter also moves forward with the new slaves. He was also assigned to make the railway line. There, the British were killing the Abyssinian slaves because they were not working. Now, Peter also starts working slowly. He sees that a soldier was beating a man a lot because he was not working. That's when he goes to save him but another soldier comes and points a gun at him. Now their boss had also come there who was the leader of all. The man who had pointed the gun at Peter, he takes it away and everyone gets busy working there. A slave who was working with Peter tells him that the leader here is very cruel. He also puts a seal of his own on the faces of the slaves and he used to take a lot of work from them that their condition at night was so bad that they could not even walk properly. All those slaves were imprisoned in jail at night. There, Peter, asks the imprisoned slaves, Don't you remember your family? They say that we have given up the hope of being free. Those people say that we can never be free. We will die here. Their trust in God was gone but Peter says no I have complete faith in my God he will definitely get us out of here. The next day, Peter, gets busy with his work again. The leader had an eye on him. All the slaves were busy working. That's when some soldiers were talking there that, Abraham Lincoln, has freed all the slaves and, Peter, also hears this. There was a guard who was going to kill a slave for not cooking properly. When, Peter, looks at him, he calls him and after which he was going to kill him but the leader forbids him to do so and ties Peter up and scares him with his hunting dog that the courage inside. All the slaves were watching, but no one could do anything. Anyway, he is left after a while and when everyone was being fed, Peter, talks to all the slaves here. You know, Abraham Lincoln, has asked to free all the slaves. So how can these people keep us here? Everyone likes what Peter says and some of his slaves were ready to support him. After which they get busy with their work again. Meanwhile, a slave had died. The guards there tell Peter to put him in a pit where he had killed the rest of the slaves also say to put soil on them. Then, Peter sees that the guard was also going to kill him and then Peter attacks them and beats them a lot. He plays a trick and runs away from there. The rest of the slaves also start running after him on which the leader and guard shoot bullets and many slaves died in this fight but Peter had run away from there to catch him now the leader of this place goes to follow him with his two guards and his dogs there Peter was moving forward with the slaves through the jungle they reached a pond in the jungle where a slave sees a very big crocodile in it he does not go into the pond but Peter crosses the pond with his other companions the one who was afraid of the crocodile the dogs attack him the same leader comes to the companion who had made them his slave. He gets him rid of his dog and says, Go, you are free but as the poor man goes into the water to go from there. The leader shoots him. Following this event, the pond's crocodile emerges to prey upon him. On the other side, the other slaves who were with Peter decide that they will go on different paths so that someone can escape from them. If they stay together, the leader will kill them. They do the same but the leader had also reached there with his hunting dogs. Peter had reached a luxurious house and when a little girl sees him in the house she makes a noise. Because of its noise, the leader also found out that Peter is here. He follows him with his horse. Peter's foot was also injured. He was very injured. That's why he ties a bandage on his foot and to hide, he dives into a dirty pond. The leader sees that pond and sees a crocodile in the water and he thinks that Peter can't hide here. Saying this, he goes away from here. After his departure, when Peter comes out of the water the crocodile suddenly caught him and pulls him into the water. Peter tries to kill that crocodile with his knife. 
he attacks it again and again because of this the crocodile dies but while killing him, Peter, himself was also very injured. He does his treatment. The leader's dogs sniff him and bring him to the crocodile which was floating on the water. The leader and his companions now catch the crocodile for dinner at night. The leader tells his companions that his dad had told him that Abyssinians can occupy us that's why we made them our slaves. The next morning, Peter, is shown who puts mud on his body so that the leader's dogs can't come to him. When he goes a little further, he sees a hut there. He goes in it, drinks water, warms his knife and puts it on his wounds so that his wounds don't bleed but doing this he feels a lot of pain and then he goes near a tree and fly flies with the smoke, and then he was collecting honey and applying it on his wounds. The leader had also seen that smoke and was also coming that way but, Peter, gets on a boat and leaves from there. They're in, Peter's, village, a man comes to his wife and says we need slaves at one place and we will take you. If you don't listen to us, then we will take your daughter but when, Peter's, wife listens to her daughter, she gets ready to come with her, and that man leaves while saying that he will come back soon. They're in the jungle, the leader reaches the hut where, Peter, was. He had found out that he must have come here and gone ahead on the way of water, Peter, had gone a long way by sitting in the boat. The leader also follows him and goes ahead on the way to the jungle. Peter, had reached the shore and finds a slave like him there who asks while pointing a gun at him have you brought the leader here? He says no, no, I did not bring and I have put mud on my body so that he will not know that I am here. Now they both hide from him. The dogs were moving towards them. Peter, hides under a tree and wasn't appearing while the other companion slave was sitting on the tree this incident was witnessed by the leader. That slave says we are free but the leader says okay and shoots him after hearing this. That slave was also dead and falls down from the tree. After which the leader and his companions cut off his head and separate it. Peter, was also seeing everything hidden. He feels very bad. The leader kills that slave and leaves. It was starting to rain there. When, Peter, comes out of the tree, he cries a lot seeing the corpse of his slave companion whose condition was so bad. On the other side, Peter's, wife is shown who tells her daughter that tomorrow morning she will also take me as a slave. Hearing this, her daughter becomes sad because now they did not have both parents but she tells her daughter a plan. She goes to the cotton factory and gives both her hands to the machine. Because of this, both her hands are cut. She knew that the slaves who do not have hands, they do not take them. At night, Peter, sees a burning horse which was coming toward him. When he goes a little further, he sees that the house was also on fire in which he had come before where the little girl had seen him and made a noise. Now that house was completely burnt. When he goes inside the house, where he gets a little food and there was also a little girl there who was probably the maid of that house. Actually, this house belonged to the British and the Abyssinian slaves had attacked and set them on fire. Anyway, now he brings that girl out. Then, Peter, is caught by the leader's man from behind and says, get up but he says, look, let me save this girl's life, but it was too late that girl dies after giving her locket to, Peter, he becomes furious about this. Now he kills him with the gun of the leader's companion and then his other companion. When his dogs were barking at him, he kills one of them. He was a little free. He runs a lot from here even the morning appears while running. He reaches a place where there were a lot of people who were dead. There was a war going on. Peter was watching the explosions from a distance but the leader had also come while following him and catches him, and was about to kill him. He points a gun at him and says I am your god but suddenly a bullet hits the leader and he dies. Following his demise, Peter declares, no, you are not our god. Then some soldiers come there. They had fired at the leader. Before, Peter, tells them something about that leader he becomes unconscious. After a while, when he comes to his senses and finds himself in a medical camp and there were other slaves like him. A nurse comes to him and says that he should rest now. After which, Peter, goes to a man and tells him everything about himself. About his family and about the fact that he was a slave and the leader who used to oppress them. Actually, a war was being fought here to free the Abyssinian slaves and that's why those soldiers had saved him too. That man tells, Peter, that you are free and can go but before that, he will have to free other slaves like him. After which you can go back to your home. Peter, doesn't like this but still he agrees. When he comes out, he sees another slave working with him who ran away with him. He is very happy to see him and then two guards come to him along with the nurse she says we want to tell the world with your picture what atrocities are done with slaves. They make a picture of him and show it to everyone and then he is also made a part of his team. As a soldier, he had to plan his future, how to free other slaves. An officer asks did they have any bombs, because if their enemies have heavy weapons then they will be in danger. The officer asks, Peter, can you fight? 
will you support us in this war? Peter, now tells him his story and tells that I was sold and have suffered a lot but now I am free and can fight. I will never give up. The officer becomes happy to hear this. The next day, the officer takes his soldiers and moves on and tells everyone that we have to fight with all our strength. When they move forward, they were being attacked by bombs which bring the soldiers in trouble. In a blast, Peter, also falls far away. A bullet also hits the officer. Then, Peter, gets up and when he kills his enemy and moves a little further. He sees the officer was dead and feels sad to see this. His fighting spirit had now increased even more that's why he takes his companions and moves toward the enemy and without fear, he reaches the base of the enemy and attacks. Peter, and his companions had won this war. This place was completely destroyed. After a few days, Peter, goes to his village with the rest of the soldiers. They all go and catch those people who used to keep the Abyssinians as their slaves there and everyone is told that all of you are now free, you can legally live with freedom. Everyone becomes happy to hear this and meets their family. When, Peter, goes to his house, he does not meet his wife and children at home. That's why he suddenly sees his family from the outside. They were also looking for him. When, Peter, meets his family actually, he was now free. At the end of the movie, we are told that, Peter's, picture had become the face of the oppression on slaves all over the world. After which, Abraham Lincoln, had freed many Abyssinian slaves. Peter's, courage and his passion made him meet his family if he had given up his courage and lost, he would never have been able to meet his family again. We should always keep trying with courage.